Remember, the Germans don't start. So through Brazil, Romania, Jamaica, South Africa, Ukraine, and now down to Kenya. There's Taota to lead them off. And the People's Republic of China in lane two on the inside. That's your lineup in the four by 400 meters mixed relay. Of course, what's intriguing is the order in which they choose to go out. The Kenyans led off by Taota. The Chinese will go with the girl, Liang. Four girls on the lead-off leg, three boys. Big stagger as well, of course, on the first 400 metres, so it takes a while to work out just exactly who's got the advantage as they're called down to their blocks. And it's the final of the 4 by 400 metres mixed relay at the IAAF World Under-18 Championships in Nairobi. 50,000 have just fallen silent. But not for very long. Well, they are away in this first leg. The Kenyans led off by Taulta. South Africa have Gonse Marake, the girl, leading them off. And uh, it looks like the Brazilians, who have Bruno Benedito de Silva, uh, have made a very good start as well. Shakina Foote, who came fifth in the 400 metres, a little bit disappointing, looks like she started pretty well. Taruta's doing a good job as well, the Kenyan, and he's overhauling Foote. Foote is tiring somewhat. The Brazilian, the Silva, is a long way clear of the rest of the moment, but there is a big stagger, so don't be full completely, but I think the Brazilian has started well. Shakina Foote will hand off to Anthony Cox, and... The Brazilians will hand off to Dos Santos the girls, so we could see a bit of a change here, but the Kenyans are second at the moment as Mule takes the baton. And this is where the race becomes uh, interesting as they break and we uh, get a better idea of who's out in front. Brazil are going really well at the moment with Giovanna Dos Santos ahead of the Kenyan Glory Mule. And you can see there, though, behind them, there's a Ukrainian and a South African coming really hard at them and indeed Anthony Cox of Jamaica it'll be fascinating to see whether these two girls can hang on and keep the boys at bay as they look to close the gap to Santos for Brazil yeah look at the run from the Jamaican Anthony Cox has run an absolutely brilliant leg and he's absolutely stormed down the home straight as Dos Santos hands over and the Brazilians will go with Marrera another girl the Jamaicans also have Sadie Walker now silver in the 400 meter hurdles the Kenyans are represented by Mary Mora and she'll hand over to David Saniak for the final leg so the Kenyans have lost a little bit of ground but of course Mora now is chasing two girls in fact look at that it's a full field of girls on this leg so this is going to really even things out a bit Marrera leads Mora is just struggling a little bit because the Romanian looks like she's overtaken her although Mora is responding the crowd are roaring her on Brazil from Jamaica Sanit Walker silver in the 400 hurdles devastating moment at the end because she was set for gold can she put that right here Marora will hand over to Dos Santos it's going to be Brazil from Jamaica on the last leg and here we go it's Brazil in front with Dos Santos the Jamaicans really well placed they have uh, Antonio Watson the South Africans have Sokwakana who absolutely dominated the 400 meters hurdles can Antonio Watson rein in Alison Dos Santos of Brazil as we approach the final 200 meters
The South Africans are coming really hard with Zazini. Sofwakana, watch him. He's overhauling Saniek. But at the front, it's still the Brazilians. Now, Dos Santos couldn't keep Mary Moore at bay in the hit. Can he keep Antonio Watson at bay? He's stretching his legs. The Kenyans are coming for third, but the Brazilians are going to get gold in this mixed relay. It's Brazil, Jamaica, and third place goes to South Africa with Sally Ekron in the fourth. A super race. It ebbed and flowed. You never really were too sure of just how it would pan out. But you must say the Brazilians did brilliantly because Bruno Benedito de Silva on the opening leg gave them a lead that they would never give up. And that in a mixed relay is a very, very talented bit of running. Brazil win it, they get the gold. Jamaica second, at South Africa in third. Well, there's huge emotion for the Brazilians and I think you've, you've put your finger on something there that they tactically got it right. They didn't have the big names in their quartet. South Africa, for example, had three gold medalists in their four but could only manage third. And uh, well, they put their heart and soul and their bodies and minds on the line, Brazil. And look at the joy. A medal and it's gold for them in this uh, new, innovative and exciting event where the crowd have really, really enjoyed it. The Brazilians are off on their lap of honour. And it was a terrific run by them. Jamaica, even with Antonio Watson, an individual gold medalist, couldn't rein in Dos Santos at the end. And Dos Santos, who yesterday suffered, you could say, the indignity of being passed by Mary Mora today, held everyone off, crossed the line, the tall figure there, second from the left. And Brazil are the first winners of the World Under-18 mixed relay. Well, here's the way the race unfolded and some fantastic legs in there, particularly that one from Anthony Cox of Jamaica. I think the South African Malenga was a little short of breath after winning the 200 metres earlier. Sonique Walker handing over to Watson for the final leg and Dos Santos, well, anchors the Brazilians home and they've saved it to the end as we watch the battle that went on between uh, Sokwakana and Saniak. Saniak just couldn't quite catch him despite being well on by 50,000. And the Brazilians win their first gold of these IAAF World Under-18 Championships. And they do it by winning the mixed relay. Well, let's hope we see more of this because it's terrific fun. It really is. The results of the last event of the World Under-18 Championships. It's Brazil who take gold in the 4x400 metres mixed relay ahead of Jamaica and South Africa in third. Kenya heads down to fourth.